Why software engineers write bad code? Even though we are smart, we are good at our craft, and we are aware of the bad code. So my friends, and welcome back to the channel, always with Dean Sharfewi. In this video, I'm going to share with you my thought about this phenomenon and how to solve it, maybe. Let's get started. So it goes like that. We try to create the feature and we are thinking today I'm going to write the best code ever. This is the mentality of all software engineers. So we start by creating the compose function, the view model, everything. We try to make good statement, good Lambda function, like maintainable code, easy to read code and everything. And here comes the problem. The first iteration you are going to implement something, a lot of the times it's not going to work. You are going to find some edge case, you are going to see it's not working for this phone, you are going to see some bugs and similar stuff. So what we tend to do at that moment is to forget the bad code at all. We try to make the feature work without anything, okay? Without all the means. So we end up adding function, adding that statement, adding the test tag here, like adding everything to make the feature work. And even crazier, we try to push the PR and the code just like that, just to raise the PR, just to get it merged. So this is the idea behind the first intention and what it end up with, okay? So there is a gap between it that we need to maintain it, right? That almost in my experience, what tend to happen. Always as software engineers, even though, as I said, we are smart, we start with this intention, but at the completion, when the feature completed, when the bug is fixed and everything, we forget that intention. So we end up with a bad code, even though when we look at it, it's good code, like it is a good maintainable code in our view, but we forget what happened in between as we added more code that we thought it is clean, all right? So this is the first problem we are having, but then we do have code reviews, right? Usually with code reviews, people tend to see and spot what is bad. And this is fine. Good code reviews is one of the best approaches to handling these cases. Sometimes the teammates at almost all the time will tell you like this function is too big, try to split it. This shouldn't be here. This needs to be in a separate block and similar stuff. Try to rename that, try to add that, try to do localization and similar stuff. So code review at that time is good. But what you can do also is to try to review your code first. So when you raise the PR, open that PR in your browser and try to check it, all right? So this would be a cool opportunity to spot the necessary code that you thought is maintainable and readable. Okay, so at least in my experience and in my case, it happens a lot. Every time I drive the code with good intention, maintainable code and everything, but later on it ends up completely the opposite because of the multiple tweaking between the first and the end of the implementation. So that first step to that problem, try always to review your code first. And then there is something else. I saw this happen mostly when fixing bugs and adding small features. It comes like the following. Let's pretend this is a PR in uh, now in Android and it is small PR, 38 lines, that's fine. This is just an example, of course. What tend to happen in most code reviews, like at least in my experience, is the following. We tend to see, okay, this is an if statement about this three things. Sometimes it's just one line, two line statement, three line statement, that's all. Okay, it's just this if, okay, this if is fine, this is fine, fine, at least let's uh, focus on this if, let's pretend we don't have this. If you focus on this if, it is fine, boom, I will approve it and move, that's fine. But here's the thing, we tend to see this change in only the light of this change. We don't see this four line F change in the whole code base, right? At least in the surrounding code. So what tend to happen is exactly that. People just see this three line of code and they approve it, okay? But what should happen is that we should see this code in the light of the big picture in the all code base. I know here it's not that big, at least I can't see what is happening before and after. So I can check whether this F is good in contrast to other stuff. So with this approach in mind, you tend to see what is the big picture and whether this change is actually via, it is small, but with this small change and the other add small change and the other add small change, we will pile up a big chunk of code that we will consider later on as a bad code, even though we are the persons who add that code to our code base. So always, this is very important in the code review, try to see the changes in the light of the bigger picture. All right, so this all regarding these two tips, always try to re-review your PR or your implementation to make sure that you didn't add something in between just to make the feature get implemented and get completed and make the task done. And always try to see the code changes 
in the light of the bigger picture of your code, okay? I tend always, I tend to use cyclomatic complexity as a metric to guide me whenever I implement something or reviewing other PRs because when the other people add some changes, this code complexity or the cyclomatic complexity will increase. So with this metric, I can say, okay, try to move this one elsewhere, try to split this function and stuff like that. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and always see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.